Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video today, I'm so excited to share with you this explicit strategy that uh, is going to make you a lot of money. You feel me? Like you're going to get a lot of success if you follow this exact strategy. This is not bullshit, guys. This is what I do. Okay. So uh, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to trade support and resistance the most efficient way the most realistic way you understand okay so um if you look from the title of this video uh i'm a big fan of nick sean as a matter of fact i've learned a lot from him you feel me like that's my idol you feel me like in this forex business that's the only guy that i look up to he's so fucking real you feel me so um uh looking at his strategy and the way he trades you know he's somebody who already has his he's an established trader with a lot of capital to play around with so um the, his system of trading is not really the best for um, beginner traders so if you're trading and you're trying to hedge your account back and forth from support to resistance from resistance to support you end up blowing multiple accounts even way more than you were supposed to because every beginner is going to blow accounts obviously but you're just going to do it more often because you don't have that much access to capital to play around with even if you apply for funding from a funding company the drawdown that you're going to, you know, uh, uh, the drawdown that you're going to be in, these company rules are going to be broken and these companies are going to like, you know, block your account. Uh, 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 you're going to fail these challenges every single time because the drawdown rule will be broken all the time. So I'm going to treat you, I'm going to like show you my own uh, way of uh, approaching the market uh, in a more efficient way. That means I, I try to maximize my profits, even though I still take losses. So what I want you to do every time you hop on your chart is to look for one particular pattern. And this is what it looks like. I want you to look for anywhere you see equal lows. It must not be two, but it must be two and above, meaning it can be three, four, five, six, whatever. As long as these lows are perfectly equal, then I want you to see price break that low impulsively, okay? When it breaks this low impulsively, or you see like the, 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 the lows should be found at least 50% of this price leg, then we get a retracement. We get a tap inside this ear. Uh, this key level here that has been broken, this support here that has been broken, now resistance. I want you to now grab a trade from there using a sell limit order, not uh, 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 waiting for confirmation or rejection. There's no such thing as confirmation. For me, I don't feel like confirmation is the best way to go about this thing, all right? And I'm going to explain why uh, uh, as this video goes on. So this is the exact pattern that I want you to look for. This is for the sell scenario and for the buy scenario it's pretty much the same thing, just flipped all side down. I'm so sorry for that notification, guys. Let me make my phone. Oh my God. Okay. So I want you to look for the a pattern like this in a buying scenario. I want the price to pull back down to this equal lows here. Like I said, these lows must not be perfectly um, you know, equal, like they should look equal, then you should have at least two. It can be four, five, six, whatever, but it should be at least two. If you mean that gives you more, you know, correct, more, 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 more uh, 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 chances of winning because that low, that high has rejected price not only once, but twice, being that high is an important high. So whenever it's broken, it's really, really uh, 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 important that you get a trade from there. And now this is exactly how you're going to enter trades every time you spot this pattern. And this is an example of this pattern on the screen, like you see right here. We have equal lows. We have a low that was formed, another low, then price broke this impulsively to the downside. If you measure this price leg now from top to bottom here, you're going to see that this um, our key level is found in the midpoint of this. So it is really a good place to buy from. You feel me? Sometimes you, you, you even get the low right somewhere you know, down here, which is not really advisable to, 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 to sell from, but you can still risk it all, it depends on you. So uh, this 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 particular um, pattern, every time you see it, it works 99% of the times, guys. I'm so damn serious, and I'm going to show you multiple examples on multiple different Forex pairs, okay? So here we have equal lows here. When we see one, two, the only thing that I want to see is either this low gets respected again the third time, or it gets broken just like this, all right? Then now what we're waiting for is we just go now on our Meta 4 or Meta 5, trading platform and we place a sell limit right here properly calculate risk make sure that we're risking what we want to risk then we aim for one is to two this is exactly how me and my team we trade okay this is how we do it one is to two every single day and now once we had our we have our limits set there okay there is no chance that um there is no chance that this price might this 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 uh, um, particular setup will play out, and there's also no chance that this particular setup will not play out. So you just have to take the odds, okay? 
So yeah, you see that the first try is always the best. This is just a piece of advice. Like if you see these levels formed for the very first time, the first tap is the most important, meaning this guy here, this is where you should be on. This second one, you should not really be concerned, though, even though it works sometimes. But for me, I just feel like the high probability taps are always the first one because the level is still fresh and has a lot of orders sitting there, not just yours, okay? So I want you to look for this pattern, equal lows, broken, retested. That is it. I don't want you to come on here analyzing trends, everything, everything, everything. If you're an intraday trader, you should be working with 15 minutes. If you are maybe um, a position trader, you should be working like with the daily four hour and stuff. If you are just, you know, a trader like myself, I use, I use the one hour, I use the 15 minutes. It just depends on your preference or whatever you want to do. But I love the 15 minutes, okay? So let's go to another pair. Let me show you another example. So these things are just the same. You might see lows that are not perfectly equal, okay? Like you might see a low like this, you might see this, you might see this one, they're kind of slanty, it is more like a trend line. So I don't really fancy that, but let me show you something here real quick. Um, let this thing load up guys, my internet connection is quite slow sometimes. Okay, let me zoom out of this one so you can see the tops that I saw. All right, this is it right here. Um, just so you know, some of these trades we didn't take, okay? But I will show you the one we took and missed because the the, the, the market didn't quite tap our order. So our orders were sitting right there and the market just got almost there, almost tapping it up and it just left us behind and went down. So that was the only trade that I called. So all of these ones that I'm showing you here uh, were, were happening the same time that I called that one. So I, I, for, I don't really like to be in so many positions at the same time. So I like to be like in one position or two maximum. So all of these trades here were like, these opportunities were there, but I didn't take them. I analyzed them quite all right, and I left them, and I posted them in my group. Okay, so here we have here, we have one, two tops. You see how they are aligned, right? Nice, easy. Now we wait for what? A break to the upside, and you can see that this rally up here was really, really big, and I like the space up here from this um, break of structure, from where this structure was broken to this high. You see there's a lot of gap, there's a lot of volume, there's a lot of space, meaning even if you were to grab a buy here, you don't necessarily have to aim for these highs, one is to two somewhere midway here and you're going to get your money and you're out of the market. We don't want to stay too long in the market because it's extremely volatile and things can switch up real quick. Okay, so I just want you to see double highs, get the first tap. If you can get the first tap, it's good. If you've missed the first tap, just look for something else. Or if you maybe feel like you're some kind of risk guard, then you can go in with another position, Um, you know, you just keep your fingers crossed because at that point, you don't really know what's going to happen. You never know. All right, let's go to the next pair. Uh, this was a buy, the other one was a sell. So I just want to show you this thing works on every direction, meaning buying, selling, whatever. It just works, all right? Now we have another one here. We have one, two lows formed. Broke it, bam. You see that slam? Beautiful. The market just recently entered inside, just today, bam, and collapsed. It collapsed all the way down. If we're grabbing one into two, we wouldn't have to suffer this drawdown here, this, um, sorry, this pullback. This pullback here, maybe some people not really, you know, good with pullbacks. Sometimes this market pulling back and people just getting scared and getting out of the positions. But before this pullback even starts, we, we must have already been out because, you know, one of those two, like one of those two is around here and we'll be out of this thing since and long gone. We won't have to like, you know, go through the stress of this. That's why I love one to two risk to reward because it's fast. And for me, it's more reliable. All right. And also, uh, if you ask me, I don't feel like, one is to one. One is to one is 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 kind of better. But let's say you you're, you're taking trades back and forth and you're losing back and forth. You find yourself stuck in one position, meaning you're not going anywhere. But if you maybe one is to two or one is to three, you see that if you have your target met like three times and then you lose like two times, you're still up. You're still up real good and you're profitable trading like that. Okay. So let's look at this other example here. I just saw this one. We have one and we have two, two lows here. You draw a key level and you see these price rejections here. The first one, this is the first tap here, this one. And you can see here, one is the two was nicely met, zero drawdown, perfect, all right? Let's go to the next pair. I'm trying to rush this video fast. That's why it get me talking too much. I want to get this video running fast. I don't want to waste your time here. I just want to tell you exactly what I'm doing. And if you find this kind of sensitive or maybe like a, or, or you know something that makes sense to you i don't advise you to just go on your chat and start looking for levels like this to trade from but what i'll say however is you if you have a demo account or you want to forward test this on a demo account it's good because you cannot gather the data from there then make your own decisions this is not financial advice i'm not a professional trader so don't take my word for it all right this is another low here that i looked was quite interesting i had a rejection here the price kind of went down but went up and closed there then we had another push 
and fail to break that key level. Then pro kick. You see the first top here, the first retracement, this one in here, this one, you can see this high here, this pull dip, then it, it went back inside with speed and just, you know, collapsed immediately. The first top is always the best. Feel me? Maybe the second guys with the link commas might get this one and be lucky with it. But for me, I always like to be there first. All right? So you're either early or you just stay up. This is uh, another one, another setup that, uh, oh, the one we missed, probably I've already passed that one already. Ah, all right, let's let's just keep going. You know, that's not really important. I just want you to see the concept and understand what I'm trying to show you here. So you can just like screenshot that pattern or you draw it yourself and paste it somewhere if you find this interesting. If you're trading break and retest, this is the only thing you should be looking for. Okay, double bottoms, double tops, triple bottoms, triple tops, whatever it is, the highs or lows should be equal. Broken, retested, as simple as that. You don't need to analyze things, boo -boo -ga -ga from up and down, break top down analysis, messing up your brain, giving you a hard time to think. All right, just come on your 15 minutes. You don't need any other time frame. You don't need a trend direction. You don't need anything. All right, all of those things, no matter how many times or how much you do this analysis, you take massive losses. It doesn't make sense. So what if you just do it simply and you still take the same losses? Maybe you just like somehow boost your winners up and you know, that's it. Like you go through less stress and you still take losses. People go through more stress and they still take losses. Like, wow, so unfair, innit? So we have here another low, one low, two lows, equal, broken, retested, sweep. You see here, we have equal lows, one, two, three. Equal, right? Broken, retested. You see right there? Bam, two, two trades right there, played out nicely. 99% of the times, this thing works out. Now, in market conditions like this, nope, I don't give a shit. So, guys, if you enjoy this content today, all right, you can see down here, I started this channel like a month ago, and it's not going anywhere. I need your support. Please subscribe to this channel because it's like been days now. I've not dropped any video. I don't feel encouraged. I don't feel motivated. People are not supporting. So, please subscribe to my channel. Tell me exactly what you think about this content. If it's not like good enough, maybe if it is, then all right, uh, you do your own research. You know, I'm leaving it to you. I'm not telling you to go do this. I'm just telling you to look at it and, you know, tell me what you think, because this is exactly what I do, my team and I. And by the way, if you're looking to join my Signal group, I have a Signal group here uh, with a, a group of special members that I send out my signals only, guys. I do not teach you Forex in there, okay? I look my setups. When I see a setup, I share with you. That is it. That's the deal, all right? I don't have courses that I'm sending to you. I'm teaching you how to trade. You join the link down below. You click the first link, message me. It's 50 bucks for a month, okay? So, but if you love or you just maybe you're understanding everything that I'm sharing with you, and that's awesome. You can as well join my free Telegram. So maybe sometimes there, I just post some setups sometimes once in a while. Hmm. Yeah. So thanks for watching this video. Please do consider subscribing. It goes a long way in supporting this channel. One, one love.